what is good with good people. We here with your boy Ziggs. Zig Zig. And uh, I just I just watched the one about the one right before this, which was about uh, kind of about five G, more about you know why why things really affect people, which is what you're entertaining, what you're engaging with, what you're consuming. That's that's what's being really triggered and. What's causing all these fucking, all this bullshit within the human body. And then, scientism and uh, the white coats and uh, the people that, that know better than you. They will tell you, oh no, it's, it's, it's because of the sun. You got, you got cancer because of the sun. So yeah, before we go off on on, on all that stuff, uh, just just shout out to all you guys, uh, Zigzag. You've been fucking killing it, dude. Like you're 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 fucking uh, last. I don't know how many videos ha have been fucking fire. And of course, I'm not gonna be coming from like you know a uh, a position here where like, man, I, I agree with every single thing you say, like. I don't. I, I don't agree with everything. Every single thing you say. I don't. I don't agree with uh, every single thing that that anyone says, and that's and that's fine. But I, I'm I'm not going to chastise or or you know demonize or or, or uh, put the spotlight upon the negativity like my like why why I even do any of this or or share any of this is because of inspiration and it's because of the positivity that I get from all you guys you guys fucking inspire me to engage more of the real within me And that's, that's fucking priceless. That's everything, guys. And I, I just want to send, uh, some love. I, I want to send, uh, fr through <laughs> the, uh, the medium of, of words. I, I want to let it be known. That I've been sending you guys, a lot of you guys, really good um, vibrations, intentions, uh, just just communion. And you can say, you know, uh, in the astrals or whatever, and it doesn't need to be like even uh, formed in a mental space like that because of it it's it's on such a uh feeling level that within this within the moment of that engagement uh words absolutely cannot keep up with the purity and the the beauty within that felt experience so zen zen at man of course i've been sending you lots of fucking love dude zigzag of course <laughs> my dude uh the mayan jin the genie i've been sending that dude lots of love uh juniperis of course Danny Skylark, I've been sending you a whole lot of love. And when I say love, like, I'm not just... I send love to everyone, 
but for for you specific people uh and I just named off like a few but but there's there's a lot more but the people that I know are doing their inner work and are integrating I don't the the connection that I that I have with you um on a very subtle level if you want to call it astral or etherical it's it's not just sending you encouragement and love and light and all that, you know, <laughs> goody goody shit. No, I, I'm I'm sending you power, as in empowering yourself. I don't send people this kind of stuff in the hopes that they just feel good and then that's it. I I send it, um, I connect because I know within this experience of gnosis and this engagement that in this experience we are we are all expanding and growing and learning from this. And uh, you people that I connect with, uh, when I whenever I say I send you something, like I, I it's it's an engagement. It's I, I go into some people call it go into state. Uh, what Zigzag will say kind of here in a minute, maybe if I if I get to that ever <laughs> is uh you know he was talking about uh the importance of uh, the morning time and then the time right before you go to sleep, basically waking and then falling asleep in that, in that state that, that you're in. Where you're kind of in between realms. This, this is the state that I access uh, whenever I connect with people and it's... It's in a place of knowingness that the only thing that I'm doing or or engaging really is reminding you of what's inside of you already. So if there's certain people that are going through you know certain things or turmoils or turbulences in life, and that's just how life is. You know, we all go through it. We all ride the waves, and you just gotta, you just gotta surf up, bro, and fucking ride them. But uh, yeah, it's just a reminder, a gentle, subtle, heartfelt reminder that you're not alone, and that. I feel you. Um, on so many levels, I'm with you. So yeah, Danny Skylark, I, I just watched your uh, most recent video, and I, I saw some of the things that you had to say. I'm not exactly for sure. What's, what caused this? Um, why you got all these tests and have the heart monitored and whatnot? I would kind of like to talk to you about it, actually, because I'm just very interested in, in why, and uh, especially knowing like the, the health uh, methods and modalities that you engage. I mean... Really, more than anything, like, I know that you know. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, deep down, like, I, I know that you know the root causations. And so, if, if we did talk about it, it would just be me reminding you of what the root causalities are and how much power you really have. Which, I mean, we all need those reminders from time to time of just how powerful we are and what... And 
what we are creating and, and sometimes we need to be reminded of what we're doing to ourselves. And that's the biggest thing. And that's always going to be the biggest factor in, in anything that we go through in life is is the realization, finally coming to that realization, oh god damn, fuck, I've been doing this to myself this whole fucking time. So then you can realize the patterns and the behaviors and the loop programs that you've been on. And then you can step out of them because you reclaim that seat. Your seat of beingness. You reclaim your consciousness. You become conscious and aware in the moment of the causalities, the root causations of why things are the way they are. Maybe not in such a macro, but in a micro. And that's where it's going to begin for each and every one of us. It begin, begins on an individual level, the micro then we see how that reflects in the macro. As within, so without. So yeah, uh, Ziggs talked a little bit about the sun, how, you know, what's really causing quote-unquote cancer, which is not a real thing. It's a made-up terminology for a a reaction that happens because of ignorance. That's, that's the only, that's the definition of cancer is ignorance. I mean, it's, it's a acute manifestation of ignorance. That is cancer. You can quote me on that. That's what it is. If you know people that have cancer, if you've gone through family members that have cancer, if you have had cancer and, and you take offense to this, so be it. Empower yourself. Educate yourself. Take it upon yourself to realize what is what. So they talked a little bit about, you know, just the functionality of the cancer and, and what, what happens on a cellular level with uh, kind of just really what cancer is, is your own, your, your body is trying to heal itself. And then, and then you have dipshits coming in. Oh my God, that's, that's a, that's a fucking tumor. That's cancer. No, it's your fucking body blocking off the bullshit so that it can process it and heal it you fucking retards if you want to go to hospital be my guest do so but that's that's where people go to fucking die and, and yes you know the ER saves lives uh, but I mean what kind of a life are you really saving if it's just a life of ignorance and indoctrination and going back to becoming a slave and a cog in the fucking system? Is that really living? Is that really saving a life? They say they save lives, but like, are these people really alive? I, I, I really question that. Doesn't, doesn't really seem to be so. They seem to be more engaged with a death cult which is uh, prevalent in pretty much anything and everything we do nowadays, and all of our foods, uh, which if, if you buy your food, you're, you're buying death. That's not food. That is death. You are killing yourself whenever you're doing this. What is food? If, if you want actual living food, you, you grow that shit yourself, or you go out into the nature and you educate yourself about the herbs that are all around you, and everything's fucking edible. There's no such all this all this wild edibles. All oh, the select edibles that are out there, it's it's all fucking edible. And 
yeah, some things, you know, quote unquote, are poisonous, but that's because they have everything has its purpose. Some things will ca will cause an acute reaction. So don't consume that shit. You don't you don't have to say, oh, it's poisonous. You can still use it to help cleanse the body, to help cleanse certain aspects of the self. You can use fucking snake venom to cleanse your goddamn central nervous system. That's one of the most powerful things that will cleanse your central nervous system. But if you do too much of it, yeah, your, your body's going to freak out and go into shock. And, and potentially, if you don't have a strong will, then you'll uh, leave your body. As with many things in, in this in this realm, if you don't have a strong will, then you're you're going to give in to the uh, scripts and conscripts that have been placed upon you, that you've been indoctrinated with, that you have willfully listened to the ignorance around you, and. Yes, this is the case, but uh, I'm also subject to this as well. So I I understand. I understand what we all go through, and I'm not, you know, I'm not demonizing people or whatever terminology you want to use that that are still under the spell. Because this is uh, quite the spell that has been casted upon us of uh, disenchantment of the living nature, and the more you get into it, the more the more you realize, the more the clearer your eyes get, the more lies you see, the the, the more you separate yourself from. The, the bullshit, the lies. So yeah, I'll play some of this here uh, real quick before I do. Just like he was talking about with the sun uh, and then talking about uh, with frequency as well, like it's the things inside of you, it's the bullshit that you have accepted inside of you that is being triggered by these things. This is accurate. This is absolutely correct. I will also say that there are many levels to this. So this this five G thing, it's not what you think it is, and and Ziggs says this as well. It's it's not what you think it is because. Uh, this same frequency has been uh, around all of us and inside of all of us for uh, many, many, many fucking years now. Basically ever since we've had Wi-Fi or even radio. It probably started with radio frequencies. Uh, so, I mean, we've been dealing with this for a while. What What the 5G scare really is. And then he also says, you know, it, it's, it's a focus. Like, they... they and one beautiful thing is, you know, where, uh, shit, what is it? <laughs> where, uh, focus, where energy, where focus goes, energy goes, or whatever the fuck, I can't remember the exact terminology right now, but essentially, what you put your focus on, uh, manifests. And that's essentially what E equals, uh, MC squared is getting at is that you're the fucking the the, the quantum uh, fucking uh, split test like it's all about the observer like that's what creates the reality where attention goes energy flows there it is I brought it out of my ass Yes, like this is the whole purpose of media. This is the whole purpose of the uh, indoctrination system. Uh, this is why it's been able to be so successful is, is that they've gotten so many people to focus upon it, to focus upon the system as in the education system, that we have to have a hierarchy 
it's it's uh, like a pyramid scheme. This whole construct that we live in is a pyramid scheme existing within cubes, within boxes, within boxes. We're on our fucking box phones, within our box houses. We go in our box cars. We go to our fucking box goddamn jobs. And then, you know, we're born and, and we spend time in a box crib, which basically looks like, a, you know, a jail cell. Which is a box, and then we die in, in, in fucking uh, coffins, which is our boxes, and it's it's all fucking boxes, boxes within boxes. So uh, yeah, absolutely <laughs> think outside of the box, but but dissolve the box, become the sphere within the box, and then the box will fall away. That's that's what awareness is. Be become aware. And then the box just, the the boundaries dissolve and you're able to see things for how they really are. But if you do, if you do enough research on, on 5G, um, it also becomes more and more obvious that, you know, what they're doing. Uh, the agenda becomes more obvious and um, it's an attack. And this, this, shouldn't be any kind of surprise for people and if it is like i'm sorry you're so late in the game but this attack has been like planned like, for long long fucking time this is all fucking uh house of cards and it's a controlled demolition here the question is how are we going to control our own reaction to this demolition that's going to be the the determining factor in if we survive, as in like true humanity, or if we are cold into this uh, place of even more mechanation and uh, groupthink mentality to where free thought becomes less and less and less. So yeah, these 5G towers are, are being put up uh, in, in certain cities. They're being put up like uh, very close proximity from one another. And that's to have that high frequency um, being able to ping back and forth. And be, to, be, to have a consistent high frequency within these cities. And that's absolutely going to have an effect on the human body because we are frequency. We are, uh, the frequency has an effect on water and we are water like beings. Our bodies are made up of, uh, not just water, but that, that's a, such a major part. The importance and the purity of the water. What kind of water are you intaking? Is it pure? Is it bullshit? Is it plasticized water? Are you distilling your own water? Are you getting water from nature? Are you, are you finding your own springs to get your own water from? Are these springs actually have pure water? Or are there, is there pollution going into it? You have to dive into all this and, and, and educate yourself. Realize for yourself how to get cleaner. Where the purity is. Where the truth is. But this 5G stuff, uh, yeah. The technologies, and I'm sorry, I haven't played any of this, so I'm probably not going to, because I want to keep this relatively short. But thank you, Zigzag, for encouraging inspiration uh thank all you guys for inspiring me and <sighs> helping my heart connect because uh this world uh if you let it it will disenchant you because that's kind of the design of it with with all these fucking bio robotic people uh going about their days uh not connected to anything uh, that's really on a human level. So being around that, you know, so much is, is going to bring you down. So, 
engaging with certain people like you guys that I engage with on YouTube or the rare people that I meet in life that uh not not that <laughs> not that this isn't life but you know what I mean like it, uh, not not on YouTube in my day to day uh it, it's pretty rare to to find people that are uh, even even a little bit woken up it's it, it's pretty fucking rare So yeah, I don't want to go heavy in this 5G stuff because it, it's going to be kind of on the level of like fear, fear mongering or whatever. And uh, I definitely don't want to get people into that kind of energy. I want to get people into the energy of empower yourself. Realize how strong you are. Realize what you can really do. Realize all the aspects of yourself, of the self. So the 5G is just a term that is being used for uh, the weaponization of these frequencies. And they're absolutely having an effect on not just the human form, but the every biological form that's within the vicinity. I'm not even in a city that has 5G towers, but... There are certain towers that I noticed that were being built up that were unlike the other ones that were reinforced uh, for higher frequency uh, transmission. And even with those, I could tell uh, an immediate um, reaction to uh, nature, to the insects. Immediate fucking reaction to the birds and the insects and the plant life. And, and then to the people. So yeah, this is all this is all fucking stage, people. <laughs> this is all for a fucking reason. Uh, it's the it's the cause chaos. Cause uh, they, they want you know order out of chaos, right? That's 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 the fucking agenda. If you haven't realized it yet. I might go a little bit deeper uh, in later videos about what's what, all the fucking things that are going on, but uh, I don't know. I don't like to throw too much at people. Um, I, I like people. I, I I just like to encourage people to do their own fucking research, because it, it because especially in this time that we're in right now, it's it's being thrown in our fucking faces. So if you can't realize what's going on, oh my god, dude. Dude, wake the fuck up. Dude, it's right there in front of your fucking face. You're being told day in and day out what's going on. But but you're not able to to understand uh the fucking linguistics, the the spellings, the spells that are, that are what's really being said. Whenever you're told shit, even on the media and on the news, what's really being said there? Because wh whatever, you know, you think you're hearing that's that's <laughs> complete fucking hogwash it's 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 fucking bullshit but the the linguistics and the spellings and the 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 angles of of the words and the vibrations and the resonances that's what's having an effect that's what is is being utilized it's people's ignorance of this shit. It's an entrainment, people. We're in an entrainment camp. And <laughs> that's that's what this world is. It's a pyramid scheme and an in within an entrainment camp. Within a fucking rat race. <sighs> so yeah, that's that's it for now. Just just Main message, just just wake yourself up. Let go of the fear. Yes, educate yourself. And yes, like some of the shit that you may get into is going to be fucking scary. Especially whenever you're first waking up and you're realizing the degradation and the corruption. Just just the level of that. Like, yeah, that's... 
that's that's a big one. <laughs> that's that's going to be a big a big one to to overcome, but but fucking overcome it. Keep going. Don't don't let it bog you down. Keep learning, keep doing your inner work and seeing things for how they really are. Keep engaging truth within yourself and bear witness to what happens, quote unquote, outside of yourself, to your outer experiences. You may call it magic, but that's just because you don't quite understand yet what's really going on in the process. The magic is that you are the magic. You are the magi and you are the jinn. Do you see it? I see magi. Do you? Peace.